And today, the question from Alina Williams was, can you make others happy? Now that someone could say is a loaded question, but really not. And there's many ways of looking at that. First, the most important, if you are not happy, <laughs> you definitely cannot make anyone else happy. If you are happy, your happiness can actually make others happy. Just being in your presence, your energy of happiness can spread to others. But I think the question was about people who are having problems with happiness, people who say they can't be happy, people who say they're unhappy. Now, if I didn't believe that we can help make other people happy, I wouldn't be talking right now. I wouldn't have made our group's focus preserving happiness. Now, we can't really make them happy. We can't. But we can provide energy. We can provide space. We can provide time to help people discover their own happiness. But one thing I know that does make people happy is something I actually saw last night while watching the, a movie. And it's a children's movie. But I told my husband, I want to see something that's different. I'm tired of watching police TV shows and violence. And so I watched the movie A Wrinkle in Time. And it's a fantasy science fiction movie that's filled with fantastic things. And I really enjoyed it. And if you haven't seen the movie, I'm going to try and not give away everything. But what I saw in the movie was how love Loving someone can make another person happy. And this love, the nature of this love was so strong and it was standing the greatest mental, emotional, and physical resistance. But the love remained. And in the end, the love made the person who was resisting it happy because it broke through the barriers that had been inflicted, making them resist the love. So that can be a strong and hard task sometimes to continue to love someone who resists you. Now, this was a children's movie and it had magic and fantasy. So it's important to say loving someone is important and you can make people happy with your love, but you do not want to put yourself in a long, protracted relationship of violence trying to show someone your love. Making yourself a target of abuse, physical, mental, or emotional, or financial, is not the way to make other people happy. Because you are not happy when you're being abused. So don't even kid yourself that you're doing this to help make someone else happy and to give them love. No, that's not the kind of love I'm talking about. Sometimes, of course, if people get angry or they're hurt or they may say things, every once in a while, you know, you continue to love someone. But when abuse becomes a prolonged habitual action, there's no love you can give except to step out of that situation. Because then you are helping to protect not only yourself, but the other person from creating a situation in which their harm to you harms them too. 
So you can help others be happy by being happy yourself and sharing your happy energy, just being yourself by loving people sincerely, but with common sense and kindness and courage by supporting people and directing them in how they can develop and nurture their own love for themselves to be happy and helping people find ways to be happy, helping them discover what is it that's blocking themselves from their happiness. And we have these barriers at times, mental, emotional, sometimes physical barriers. So you want to be able to guide people to discovering why they're not happy. What is it that's keeping them from being happy? And some people don't even know what makes them happy. So, yes, you can help other people be happy. You can help other people find happiness. And you can make people happy when you love them and they're ready to accept that love. And here at Vibrant Velvet Voice, we're developing tools and programs to help people be happy, to help you look at those barriers, whether they're mental or physical or emotional, something that you grew up believing. You have to look at them. And sometimes you need a little guidance and time. And that's what we're here to do, to help you look at those barriers, overcome them, and find what makes you truly happy. And for those of you who are happy, just keep being happy and sharing your light of happiness wherever you go, because that does help to make other people happy. I trust and hope I've answered your questions and I will be back with other answers and discussions on happiness tomorrow. And just a reminder, Harmony for the Holidays is coming next week, starting on Monday, November 5th, with an introduction. And then November 6th, we have four presenters offering really great tips and information to have a stress-free holiday season. So I do hope you will register and engage and watch these conversations because you will benefit from them. And now it's time for me to say Good night, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are in the world.